Oh, sorry, do it again. Sorry. <laughs> One of the most commonly asked questions we get is, how do you set up your GoPro and mic? Well, in this video, we'll tell you exactly that and why we do it. So you can too, and get the perfect helm arrangement. Even though the eight and the nine is out, we use the GoPro Hero 7. The 8 and the 9s do have the capability to, to have mics, but you have to have this sort of, me, sort of bulky media pack on top of the uh, camera itself. It's a bit of a faff and it's a bit tricky. So we use currently still use the 7s and really there is no better camera, I think you agree. Agreed. There's no, there's no better camera. That's the camera we recommend the GoPro. We bought and paid for these. Now you need a mic and we just found something pretty incredible. Obviously we used to use Drift. Uh, now we use uh, GoPro, but these are drift mics, the latest stereo drift mics. They're about 15 quid, I think, uh, not much. And they work perfectly with these. Um, here's, this, here's the other catch. To use a mic in a GoPro, you need one of these, which is a GoPro adapter, 3.5 mil adapter. 50 quid. 50 quid, 50 pounds. Um, now, to, to be fair, once all that sort of faffing goes, oh, look at all these cables and oh, wires, it's not that bad, but I will say it's worth it. it the first go is a bit of a faff, so the whole point of today is we're going to show you how to set up your camera and your mic. So, first off, we use the Arai. Now, these are particularly easy for setting the cameras, or relatively easy for the cameras, because it's quite a sort of friendly, sort of um, flat, uh, mount a uh, sort of curve on the side, on the front even. Why, why do we use the front rather than the side? That's a good question Chris. Well, we used to use the side, didn't we, for the drifts? Yeah. But the issue is you just don't get the right point of view, do you? Really? You don't get the well, right well, POV? Well, uh, more that at high speeds it, uh, it twists your head. Okay, yeah. I, well, I didn't really think about that. Yeah. You're just not fast enough. Chris's tip of the day. <laughs> So, as I said, our eyes, quite easy to mount. Don't be worried if you get a bit of gap on the side between where, the, where you just put the sticky mount on. And I've got to say, another point is, the GoPro stickies are the best ones. Don't be fooled by the Chinese ones you can get on Amazon for, you know, you can buy a tenner for three quid or whatever. Don't bother. Get the genuine uh, 3M. 3M ones, uh, GoPro ones. Not only are they sticky, but when you get the mount in, they don't shake about whereas the, with the cheap ones they do. So that's a massive, a massive one. Massive one. So, let's, uh, let's pretend you stuck it in the middle. What you need then is a mount. Now, so for the Arai, we have to have the mount like that, sideways, the horizontal, horizontal, uh, because you can't fit it, there's not enough room to fit it uh, vertically. Well, you, you can, I did have it on my my other RX7V like that, but it was a bit gappy and it was going on the rubber. Okay. But yeah, horizontal but better. Ideally, for an RI, that's, the, that's where you want it. And of course, for that, we need one of these mounts. This is called a GoPro helmet mount. Now this is slightly different because you can have uh, the, the camera set up without having stupid amounts of little uh, adapters fitted, which therefore makes, more, makes it more shaky and more vulnerable to uh, failure. Um, so this is, yeah, GoPro Hero mount. Uh, I think, I don't know how much these are, but these are definitely worth the money. Just to clarify, it's just the mount, not the frame. Yes. The, the frame, the, the skeleton casing yeah. is the same. I should have taken it off, really, sorry. You should have. So, let's get our camera in there, shall we? And here's one I made earlier. Then we need to figure out our mic adapter. So the mic adapter, I mean, it's purely preference, really. Fit it first, and then figure out a bit of, uh, bit of Velcro, genuine Velcro, and wang it on the side there. Lovely. So next up is the mic, and this is kind of where you need a bit of patience. It will take you time to figure out exactly what the best placement is. Rule of thumb though, you kind of want the end of the mic, the tip of the mic, kind of just about, you can just see it from the uh, cheek pad, or the top of the cheek pad, or the bottom of the cheek pad, it's basically a cheek pad, you want to aim it and you want to have it kind of an inch, 
two inches from your, your mouth really. But more importantly, you don't want it directing into any wind. That's the most important thing. But like I said, it's just a case of messing about. This particular Arai, which is the um, Arai Profile V, this has got a perfect little cubby hole, just the sort of two flaps. Right, you want it right in the middle of the flaps. Just nestle it in the flaps. I'll just zoom in for a close-up flap shot. Oh yeah. Yeah. And the bonus of this little beauty is the fact that it's got a bit of extra wind protection. So just nestle it in the flaps there, pull the skin back over, and you can ram it back in your helmet. But again, that's kind of, you want to kind of play about. It, it won't, you won't do it first time. You will not do it first time, I guarantee you. So have a little play um, and perfect your position. Now, again, this is personal preference. I like to, I like to wind my cable around my helm, like so. I'll just speed it up for video purposes. Um, Chris, you like to wang it inside, don't you? Yeah, I kind of, yeah. And again, it's pretty much common sense here, but you don't want the cable stretched, so just take your time by winding it in and fitting it snug in your helm. But that's pretty much the gist of things. It's pretty easy, but be patient, take your time, and results will come. Carbona. Now, the beautiful AGV. If it's good enough for Rossi, it's good enough for me, or Chris, or anyone else. Excuse me, I've got a bit of a San Pellegrino burp there, Nigel. Um, so, AGVs and other kind of sharp looking helmets at the front, they are tricky. The only way of doing it really um, is a bit of glue or silicon, and it's not, if you're precious about your helmets, I wouldn't do it, um, but if you use silicon or a certain glue that you can heat up and it'll peel off. Brilliant. This is um, Gorilla Glue from Kev Healy Focused, Focused Events where we bodged it. It's not particularly nice, but in general, when it gets really hot, this glue will go off. I mean, we've only had one instance where the temperature was so extreme that both all the 3M yeah. glue, everything failed. But that was the, was it 40? 40, 42 40, degrees. Yeah. Oh yeah, well, 40, air temperature, yeah. we were out on track, the heat of the bike, it was, yeah, it and any silly. little knock, all the wind rattling round, it, it, it um, yeah, took its toll. But for 99% of the time, this will do the job. Like I said, if you're precious about your helmet, I wouldn't do it. Although I am precious about this, I know the results. So if you use certain silicon, like I said, certain silicon, certain glue, it will hold and it won't ruin your helmet. So it's a win-win. It's pretty much the same setup. You know, a helmet is a helmet in terms of uh, fitting your GoPro. Like I said though, you can fit these horizontally and you can just play with your angles or dangles. Uh, I won't teach you how to do that, you can, you can figure that out yourselves. Um, first, for, first rookie mistake on that though, it always, like, crouch down on a superbike and all people get is their tank. Yes, it's, very true. You know, yeah. you've got to, it, exactly, it, looks, yeah. it looks ridiculous, like, show us yeah. an average. So that, that looks kind of all right, doesn't it? Yeah. But that, that is, kind of is, yeah, there or thereabouts, you think, yeah, that's fine. Realistically, yeah. Kind of out there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Because if you tilt the, hel the helmet now, when you're tucked yeah. in, it's even, yeah, yeah. Now for more conventional cheap pads, AGV, Shark, Shoeys, etc. This is with the clips that clip in. You kind of want the, as I said before, you want the, the, the nib, the nub, just, just about, you can just about see it when you uh, clip your cheek pad back in. So again, don't want it to face in wind um, uh, or your and, vents. And, yeah, and any extra wind protection you can have, like those little cheap Chinese yeah. fluffies, fluffies yeah. are good. Yeah, um, but again, it's all about trial and error, so keep trying until you've done so. But yeah, um, it's not, I think a lot of people assume this setup and getting it right is uh, magic and that you have to be a pro to do it, you don't at all. It's just, like I said, just trial and error and be patient and just do, go out, try it, have a mess about. Um, and I think, you know, when I was at Fast Bikes days and when I, when Chris uh, rang me and we started this 44T thing, 
I was like, what? <laughs> when, uh, when Chris rang me and we started 44 Teeth and this whole dream kicked off, I was like, what are these idiots doing with helmets on their heads? I was like, I'm never going to put a helmet, helmet on and talk shit. This is the best way of capturing the moment in anything, any riding, get a camera on your head, do it.